And you cannot do it without a chili, actually. Oh, what? A chili. You want to try? <laughs> so it's hot. <laughs> but I like it. Welcome to Shillong, India. This beautiful city in Northeast India is nestled in the misty, forest covered mountains of Meghalaya. It's so beautiful, and unlike most of India, most of the people here are Christian. So you'll find a lot of beef there and even more pork. Jado, doklai, barbecued pork. It's literally pork on top of pork on top of pork. Pork, pork, pork. It's a world away from the Indian food you're used to. We're about to explore Shillong street markets and food stalls in this super sized episode. So join me and let's go to Shillong, the capital of Meghalaya, the Scotland of the East. So we just entered the capital of Meghalaya, Shillong. And the first thing I can tell you is that everybody looks more Asian than Indian. They really have these features in the eyes where they look more like Southeast Asian or Chinese. Very different looking culture here. And it's so unique because this part of northeastern India, that's, that's the most unique part about it is that the people are so diverse because it's been a big mix of tribes up here. And the people here, they're Kasi, the Kasi people, Kasi. So Kasi people, and it's so different. They speak Kasi as well, they speak another language. And then English again is the official language of the state. And yeah, we're almost there. And I'm staying actually in the police bazaar area right in the center. I rented an Airbnb there. God, I can't wait to see my place. Let's go. Shillong is so different from any other capital I've been to. It's like a series of winding streets going up and down and around and around. I mean, I'm gonna get so lost here. Thank God that I have a friend who's taking me around for the next four days. But wow, it is so different. It's a little cold as well. Luckily, I brought a sweater. Definitely bring a sweater with you. Maybe a, maybe a, a beanie as well. I need to get a beanie. I didn't bring a beanie on this trip. But yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. It smells like burning. They're burning some fire somewhere around here. And yeah, I mean, all these old, old buildings you can see. Lots of people, black tiger cement. I mean, that's like everywhere. Lots of cars, tons of cars. Look, welcome to Shillong. We just entered the Police Bazaar neighborhood. It's a very nice neighborhood in the center of the city. That's where I'm staying. I rented an Airbnb, a two bedroom Airbnb. I just looked up, you know, Airbnbs right in the center right here. And I only found one, so that's the one I'm staying at. And yeah, I just want to be really central. And it's actually right next to St. Anthony's College. And I love the trees here. So we made it to the apartment, but we're waiting for them to open the gate. And it's literally right in front of St. Anthony's College gate. My driver is getting desperate. He's like honking like crazy because we, we're backing up traffic behind us. How do we get in here? And here we are. Mid to the Airbnb. Hey, how you doing? David, pleasure, nice to meet you. Hi, hello, hello. David, pleasure, nice yes. to meet you. Okay, lots of stuff. Let me get the rest of my stuff. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay, so my journey with my driver has come to an end. I owe him 3,000 rupees. So if any of my Indian following thinks that's expensive, let me know, but I think it's a good deal. We drove two and a half hours to a different state and he still has to drive back. So, my friend, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. much. Been a pleasure. What an incredible morning. It was so beautiful driving from Guwahati down to Shillong. I mean, two and a half hours going through these winding, beautiful roads with the fog and lush landscape. I mean, it really is the Scotland of the East. It looks incredible. I'm super excited to explore Shillong and Meghalaya over the next four days. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next food travel adventure in Shillong, Meghalaya, India. Peace. Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Shillong, Meghalaya, India. I meet my friend Paul and Paul is a local. He's a Kasi and that's one of the many tribes that make up Meghalaya. And today we're going to which bazaar? We're going to Bara Bazaar which is in a local name called Yodo. Yodo. Yes. Yodo. And there we're going to have like an authentic Kasi breakfast, which is rice, pork, 
beef. Chicken beef. Oh yeah. my god, so it's a mix, right? It's a mix of everything <laughs> which you can see it. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, are we ready to go? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, Let's so we're actually we're hopping, we're hopping on your on bike. bike. Oh my god, this is this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. No, it's good. I just don't have a helmet. All right. Ah, dude, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Through the streets of Shillong. Yeah. Woo! The main reason we're on a scooter right now is because it's nine in the morning and there's a lot of traffic. He also has a car, but he's saying if we were getting a car, this would take double or triple the time. Right now, we're like weaving through traffic. I mean, I have to hold on because I don't have a helmet. I don't like taking risks like this, but yeah. Paul, Paul forced me into it. <laughs> yeah, I did force him into it. <laughs> He's like, you go on the scooter, there's no, there's no other way to do it. So we are right now in the marketplace, it's called Yodo, if you can just turn your camera there. You're seeing the local people selling out in the street, you see, this is called Putaro, this is called Pusao. Oh wow. Yeah. This is amazing. all made of rice. All made of rice, can all we made try of rice? something? Yeah. How much for this one? Mm, 10 rupees. 10 rupees, okay. Clan and some tea. Oh, delicious tea, very nice. And this is clan, so this is made out of wheat. Yeah, it's made out of wheat. Mm. It, it reminds me of like an elephant ear at the fair. You know, if you're from America, this is something you get. There's like no sugar, so they have a uh, jaggery, right? Yeah, jaggery is it. They've had jaggery in it. Oh my God. What a great way to start the morning. And I love the tea. The tea is very... This reminds me of tea like in Morocco. Like almost like minty tea. Mmm, a little earthy. Very clear too. This is amazing. Shilong, I love Shilong so far. Yeah, do you I like love it? it. Yeah, so he's, a, he's having a little good tea in the morning actually. I mean, I haven't had coffee today, so this is the next best thing, right? Alright, right, let's go into the market. Let's, let's eat some more market. food. Actually, these are called, uh, in local traditional, we call them Sopro. Or lofa is uh, the English word. These are actually natural scrubber, where you can use for your bath. You know, really cool. Yeah, looks like a huge sponge. Yeah, it's like a huge sponge. It's very soft and it's very good for your body. So this is the main entrance to Yodo. So here, all the local people come and sell the product from other villages. So here, uh, also we're gonna see a number of uh, food stalls and all because these people are coming right early in the morning, so they have to have their breakfast, their lunch out here. And uh, so we, you're gonna see a number of uh, these uh, vegetables being sold locally, food. We can see the meat market, the fish market, the vegetable market, and also the fruit market out here. <laughs> market now. I mean, the market is busting, and you yeah. were saying it's the oldest market in northeast, in northeast India. Yeah, it wow, is the oldest market in northeast India. I mean, it feels it. I mean, you can see every single vendor. Is, everything is so old too. Yeah. Oh, the smell in here is amazing. Wow, this is amazing. amazing. They're selling. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I mean, I love the smell. And, and like I was saying before, like the people here, they look more Asian, like Southeast Asian over Indian. Yeah. You know? True. And is that just all the tribes are. Uh, all like the that? tribes out here, right from uh, even in Assam, if you really meet in uh, real Asmis and all, because uh, the real Asmis who actually they call the, uh, the Ahoms, they actually came from the Thai kingdom. People are laughing at me, but this is incredible. These guys are walking with dead pigs and cows all the way down to the bottom of this market. And that is yeah. the beef market yeah, right down the there. Beef and the pork market. Beef and pork market? Yeah. So we have another section which is called the fish market and the chicken market. Incredible. I mean, we're going to explore the whole market, but I need to eat first. Yeah. We're going to move now. To Let's the move this way? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I mean, that thing, this market is so like bustling, so many things, so many smells. I mean, watching the carcasses go down there was so cool. And as you can see, this is rice right here. So they're, they're doing the rice. What type of rice is this? That's the right, uh, red rice, okay? okay? And they pound this to make it into, you know? This like yeah. grain. What you do is you eat this with your tea. You just dip it in your tea and you can snack it. So actually, this is the first food. This is called rice cake, the traditional rice cake. This is called Puklen, right? Uh, this is Pumaloy. The white one we, sh we saw earlier, this is Pumaloy. Pulung, Pulung. So I'm trying off four? Yeah, you try off all three. All three, okay. I mean, it's a lot of food, so I'm gonna eat, you're gonna eat, you're gonna eat, and then we're gonna pass out the rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's right. do this. 
so much here. Uh, this is actually the dry fish market. So you see a lot of these uh, dry fish out here. Uh, you you can get even these shrimps, small shrimp dry fish. Then you have all the way from Mumbai coming also dry fish. You took to Mumbai, don't know? No, Pinis away. Just show him one. From Mumbai? Yeah, so they call it Ktum Bombay. Ktum Bombay. So this is the fish they use to make fish chutney. Yeah, yeah. correct. So this is really the fish market because as you can see, there's so many fish vendors, so many different fish. I mean, easy like 20 different varieties of fish here. Wow, you can smell the salt. It's like over, like an abundance of salt. It, the aroma in the air of salt is crazy. This bazaar is really incredible, so guys. This is the fruit I love it. There's the fruit market now. Yeah. I mean, how many markets are there within one market? They're, they're like section, section wise. Like a mall, they're divided into sections, so this market is divided into sections. Our first breakfast stop is Nat Cassie Restaurant, and it's right here next to the fruit market. Tight spot, and there is no tables, so you just sit down yeah. and you eat. What do they have? So you can see what they have. It's an open menu, actually. You can see a lot of food. This is radish, uh, salad, the egg. So this is actually the giantia food. We're having it giant here food. Another giant try. Yeah, awesome. Try. So we're starting breakfast off with a pork feast here. We have pork liver, pork intestines, regular pork meat here. We have chado, which is rice mixed with like some meat, right? So it's more pork as well. So here we have pork mixed with onion and ginger. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna start with the rice. Oh my god. So many flavors in there. Mmm, I love it. It's like a biryani, like a non-veg biryani in a way. Wow. And then right here we have the pork, and I already see bones. Mm. It's a light curry. Not, this is not spicy at all. A Russian salad with pork. This salad's so good. Mm. All right, so for the liver, I'm just gonna take the whole thing. Mm. I love liver. Mmm. Nice chewy. Then I might have to get another one of those. It was so good. <laughs> the rice is so freaking delicious. This is like the ultimate biryani. This dish is blowing my mind. And the last thing to try, this is like a sausage, but it's intestines, right? Yeah, it is intestine. I'm definitely a carnivore. That was so freaking delicious. It was juicy. I'm gonna keep going. Mm. And as you can see, the pork, it's nice and fatty. There's some bones in here, so what I do is I just separate it. Just amazing, my man. This is so freaking good. This is a whole different world of Indian food. So I'm just having the jado and the uh, do niyong. Do niyong? Niyong. I love it. And you cannot do it without the chili, actually. Oh, what? A chili. Hot? Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. You want to try? <laughs> Dude, it's hot, <laughs> but I like it. Very nice. Mm. Fermented soya bean, uh, and it's made into a chutney. Just try a bit. Just don't try so much also. A little bit. It's a little spicy. Not so spicy. We're entering the kitchen now to see how they're cooking the food. Whoa, amazing. All the pots like that, insane. The one which we just had, the first was a Dot Ne Yong, is actually cooking this pot over here. And this is actually the rice, or you, you love to call it biryani, it's called jado in our traditional language. It's the same thing, it's rice, still boiling, still peppering. This is amazing, this is so cool. I love how they put, you know, the pieces of the firewood under it. You want me to try a fruit? Yeah, okay. a traditional fruit. Let's try it, it's here? Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This experience is like none other. This is the fruit right there? That's yeah, the fruit? That's the fruit. It's called sosham, it's traditionally. Sometimes it can be sweet. Sometimes it can be sour, though it depends on which one you get it. So shan. Yeah, correct. So shan. Yeah. A big seed in the middle. Yeah, the big seed in the middle. It has the consistency of a tomato. Yeah. But it's sour. It's sour. You got a sour one. Actually, you can get a sweet one too. Mmm. I like it though. <laughs> I like sour stuff. Next up, we're gonna enter the beef market. Beef market. We just saw the guys walking down from the top of the market to the bottom where the beef market is with these huge carcasses of beef. It was like something I've never seen before with the tail wagging. 
Oh my god, this is so cool. This is like, it, it feels, I gotta say, it feels like a market is 200 years ago. You know? It's like, I, I'm going backwards in time here. Yeah, true. You really feel the traditional, old, rustic market out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's dying worldwide, you know? So this is cool, it's here. So we're going now to the meat market. So actually out here, you the number of meat that comes every day is like a lot. It's humongous, you should see right from the start. Like people really love beef and pork out here in Mamegla. This guy's axing away a 70 kilo piece of beef. So you can see he just breaks it down, cuts it in half, then he cuts it into pieces. You can see they take away the ribs, take the, the stomach goes to the right. I mean, so many, wow, just too many guys doing this right now. It's a spectacle watching them butcher the beef. It's, it's just something I've never seen before, especially in India, because in India, beef is like not really allowed in most places. But here in Meghalaya, they have beef, and most of the Northeast likes beef. Okay, and then now that we've finished the beef, we're entering the pork section. Yeah. You see huge boars. They're just <laughs> cutting them into pieces. Right here we have this guy mincing the meat. So he's cutting into tiny, tiny pieces, like basically dicing it up. I really believe that you won't see this anywhere else in India. A beef and pork market combined with so much action at one time. You come here, you get the freshest beef, the freshest pork. You just order from the guy, you tell him what you want. You want pork loin, you want pork feet, whatever you want, the head, they'll give it to you. So actually they're, they're selling out for all the intestine, the, the soft tissues that are in the body of a cow. So you can see here, you have the stomach out here. You have the, the large intestine, the small intestine, you have the liver out there. You have the carcass. Uh, you have the tongue, which is one of the favorite delicacies here, actually. They're made into what we just had earlier, the mix, a salad type. They do that. It's a very delicious. Look at the tongue. This is cow tongue. Beef. Wow. So now we are exiting uh, the pork market and the beef market, and we're going to the fish market. So that is in the next direction. I'll take David. So I guess it's another like mesmerizing experience yeah. right yeah. lots of fish being like cut up the smells the juice is flying in the air i mean this is so freaking raw i mean it's hardcore raw experience right here as you can see that's the pipeline it's just out so raw this place so we entered the vegetable market now yeah, we're entering the vegetable market the fish market and the chicken market in the straight line to go so we have to go through this whole thing to get to the, the other market yeah Okay. So we have reached the fish market. So David, just watch your steps. It's very slippery out here. And then look at the fish. So there's one fish here that everybody's selling. And it's called? Kaba. Kaba. Yeah, and it's kaba. Like a river fish or what is it? Uh, it's a river fish. Huh? Napun. Pond. Pond fish. Pond. pond fish. Okay, yeah. I mean, there's so many of them. You really have to be careful. I almost slipped. But as you can see, I mean, there's so much fish. There's easy like 30, 40 vendors here. And you just ask them for the food, they cut it up for you. Oh, and this is a piranha. No, 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 it's not piranha. No, it's ponzu. Red fish, actually. It looks Local. like a ponzu, ponzu. If you don't like seeing animals being butchered, don't come to this market. If you're up for the experience, I highly recommend coming here because it's one of the most unique markets I've ever been to in my life. I mean, the whole thing is just like, you go up and down hills, wet, dry, there's there's wires, there's food, there's fish, there's meat, there's pork. I mean in this part the fish market's really cool. And, and I mean it's just like never ending like you know feast on the eyes, your sensory overload here. These are actually all river fish. These are river fish. And uh, these are pond fish. And most of the fish also come from uh, the other state of India like West Bengal and all those states. Orissa, West Bengal, so we get a number of fish. But every day, right? Because it's fresh. Yeah, every day they have to come. Yeah, so everything here, everything here was caught basically yesterday or this morning. These fish are alive. We're basically yesterday. 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 That fish market was incredible. But now we're off to the chicken and duck market. Chicken and duck. Yeah, chicken and duck. Oh my God, so many markets, so this is many. Dry fish market again. Dry fish market? Yeah. I'm good with dry fish. Let's go see some chicken and duck. Yeah. Okay, we just entered the chicken market actually. Here a lot of chicken are sold. Even ducks, for, for example, like the uh, But the ray, the han, oh. a little bit out on top so we can okay. move So it. what chicken do we have here? So we have the local chicken and the, we call it the boiler chicken out there. The white ones are the boiler chicken. 
So the local one are more deli delicious actually when you eat it than the, the white one. A never ending chicken market. The roosters. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Oh, this guy's passing through. Pass through. Wow. So many chicken. Incredible. Everybody's like in shock. Oh, man. Dude, they're the ducks. Let me see ducks. So the, the, we have a ducks, the hen, the pigeon. Uh, actually, I'm very surprised with the pigeon because I never knew that they sell pigeons. No. I mean, they eat pigeon a lot, especially in Assam. I had pigeon with my tally. The duck, I haven't had it yet. I haven't had it up here yet. Wow. I, I feel really bad, but at the same time, I eat this every day, so. <laughs> And that's it. We just finished up with yeah, the chicken market. The market. I think the only thing left is to try those snacks that we bought earlier. Yeah. All right. So where do we go to do that? I will move out of the market. Okay. We'll sit somewhere else. Yeah. And we'll try the snacks. Is out. it gonna be hard to get out of here? I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a little yeah. insane. A little bit insane. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just so many lanes yeah. and by lanes, and it's just like forever and up and down and wet. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing, David. Tell me. This market is actually run by a king. What? The, the traditional king who is. He owns this market, so everyone has to pay a tax to him. So from the market, we walked over to another like, it's like a mall slash market. Here's like a tiny cafe. I mean, literally it's like two big stools. And here we got some red tea. And then we're also gonna try the food that we bought earlier. So the red tea is something like very traditional here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it really hot? Okay. That has to get cold. So this is called the rice cake. Yeah. The rice cake? You open it? I'll open it. Alright, here we go. Okay. Very airy. Very dry. Yeah, that's why I told you you have to take the tea. Mm hmm Like, it has to get down, right? Yes. Mm. I like the coconut. Put a little bit of coconut on top? Yeah. Mm. Should I introduce you to one more food? If they... Need tea. If not, it doesn't go down the throat. Yeah, you need a lot of tea. Mm, I like this tea. This is very minty tea. It's like we tried earlier, right? Yeah. So this is puklin. 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 What it's is it? It's actually rice uh, mixed with uh, jagger and it's fried tea. Mmm. Mmm. This reminds me of something in Japan. Look at it. It's like... Mm, it tastes almost like a tofu that's been fried. Yes. Right and inside. And mushy tea. Mm -hmm. Very mushy. What I do with this is just dip in here. Yes. Correct, like, that's how we eat traditionally. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, yeah. way better. Huh? But the mushiness from the tea gets absorbed into it, makes it a lot softer. Mmm, it's awesome. Alright, <laughs> cool. The next one is a little bit sticky. It's called pulung. It's actually, there's a two part of this. There's a, another one called pudo. Mm -hmm. Pudong means it's mixed with uh, meat inside, it's kept inside. So it's more like uh, the traditional momo or okay. the traditional uh, dumplings. And what's inside this one? Here there's nothing. Nothing? There's nothing. That's why it's called pulun. So this feels like a, a super dense sticky rice. Yeah, super That's dense it. sticky rice. And you do the same here? You just use your tea, dip it. Yeah. Oh wow. I told you, it's very, very sticky. You need to chew it slowly. Very sticky. I'm too sticky for me. And this one? Red chili. <laughs> you want to try? No, no. I'm done. Mm. Okay, guys, so we did it. We had a delicious, delicious breakfast, pork feast at the market. What's the name of the market? Yodo, and it's called Bara Bazaar in the, uh, the general way of saying it's Bara Bazaar. Bara Bazaar. In the local way, it's Yodo. Yodo. Okay, so we had an incredible experience there. I mean, the food was fantastic, but the experience just going through the market, from the chicken market, the beef market, the fish market, what else did we do? I mean, we went through the fruit market, the fruit market, yeah. I mean, never ending markets, yeah, the, the clothing market, the book market. I mean, I didn't film everything, but there's so many things. I think the crazy experience for me was going through the beef and pork market. Yes. It was like sensory overload and something you would not see anywhere else in India, only here in Northeast in Magadaya. Well guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the Travel with Paul on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shillong, Meghalaya. Peace.
everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Shillong, Meghalaya, India, in Northeast India. Today we're going to eat a Kasi Tali. So, you know, there's many tribes here. Kasi is one of the tribes. And so there's like a Kasi Tali from Meghalaya. Completely different from any other Tali you've ever seen before. Very different from Assam Tali, from Southern India Tali, from Northern India Tali. Uh, they have beef, they have pork, they have chicken. I mean, such a variety of non-veg here. Yeah, I mean, I'm here with my boy Paul. Travel with Paul. He's driving the scooter right now. <laughs> And yeah, we're just driving right through Shillong right now. The restaurant we're going to is inside Police Bazaar. So there we're going to have the tally. And then afterwards, we're going to go up to Shillong Peak to get epic views over Shillong. I'm super excited. This place is amazing. I'm really enjoying my time here. Damn, so we made it. Police Bazaar. Nice. Love the smell. Look at that. Roasting some peanuts right here. Oh, wow. Lots of people. Lots of police as well. Okay, this is actually the most commercial hub where you can buy uh, your, your jackets, your pants and all. This is actually mostly for your outerwear rather than uh, any of your commercial wear, like, uh, I mean commercial foods like your household products. So that's a, this is pretty bizarre actually. So that's, the, that's the biggest difference between yeah. the bazaars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to buy something for my head. I want to buy like a, a beanie, beanie or something like... Or a scarf. Or a scarf, yeah, a scarf I can put on my head. Something cool. Something from Megalaya. How do you say it? Megla Meglaya? Meglaya. Meglaya. Yeah, Meglaya. Meglaya. Wow, lots of. Look at that. Yeah. So yeah. this is second hand. These are a lot no, of second hand. No? no? Oh, wow. Really yeah. cool. Lots of stuff here. Shoes, bags, more shoes. So we're going to have to in this place called Tatoria. Uh, they have the local cuisine. So we're going to have the thali, which we, David have just mentioned about it. Okay, so the restaurant is it's pretty small and it's so different from any other restaurant I've ever been to because everybody's facing one direction. They're facing yeah. like the kitchen. Yeah. They're sitting in these like, it's like little booths, right? Like, yeah. booths. Ah. With like little stools here. Yes. And then the table is just like this diagonal spot, right? So right here, like this. And then here we have some chilies. So we gotta start with chilies, right? <laughs> yeah. You no, I'm joking, I'm joking. With a salt. <laughs> this is a uh, pork, um, uh, pork salad. And this is a uh, mixed pork curry. This is uh, all this uh, portion. This is uh, pork pieces, pork mince. mince. Pork. We mince it, then we grind it. So this is typical dal fry. Dal fry. Okay. Fermented dry fish chutney. Wow, okay. okay. And coriander. This is banana stem. And this is a uh, potato it. smash. This is potato fry mix, mixed veg. This is salad. <coughs> and this is radish. So this is the tally. This is a cassie tally. We have a huge variety of things here. Lots of pork. We also have chicken as well right here. And then I'm gonna first start with the jado, which is the rice. This is a rice that basically has pork in it. So it's like, it's not a biryani. It just feels more like a risotto or yeah, like a risotto or paella. Mm. Mm. I love it. Very moist. Nice piece of pork in there, a little fatty. Mm. Fantastic. And then I guess I'll start with salad to make my way across, right? So here we have, what do we have here? We have a tomato salad with a chili right there. Mmm. Oh, no, it's green beans. Mmm. Very fresh. Oh, I love it. A lot of vegetables here. Oh my God, it's full of vegetables that like you saw in the market earlier. A lot of vegetables. And then here we have a salad with, uh, with radish salad. So here we have the radish salad. Right? Mmm. Very nice. I like that one more. Mmm. Feels almost like a bamboo, in a way. Very crunchy. Alright, next up we have the pork salad. This pork salad I had it earlier and it basically is like a like a Russian salad. It's uh there's some potato in here, some onion, and then pork. Oh. That's the best. Mmm. I love it. Mm. So good, so fatty. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow. It almost tastes like a ceviche because it's like pork with onions. Oh, it's amazing. And here we have some more pork. These are chunks of pork curry. Mmm. Dude, I love the fat. The fat, <laughs> the fat's so good. Mmm. We're getting so much of that. I'm gonna let, like keep it light because I, I know I have a lot more to go. All right, so here we have the doll. Get a piece of doll. Mmm. Very nice. So it's a doll mash, basically. So lentil mash. 
Mm. A few different spices in here, but super light, no spiciness to it. Mm, that's fantastic. That's like, a, that's like one of the best doll mashes I've ever had. I think it's my only one though. <laughs> and here we have fermented fish chutney right there. Let's get a little bit. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's potent. It's fishy. Oh, it's hot. It's spicy. The fish chutney, spicy. <laughs> Tastes like a pepper. So here we have mint leaf chutney. Mmm, that one's amazing. Oh, you know what? Grab some of that, mix it with the rice. Mmm, the mint leaf, insanely delicious. The intensity of the mint, it's just like, it's overbearing, but it's awesome. Wow, I haven't had mint chutney like that before. And here we have banana flower chutney. I've never had this before. Mmm. Oh, so nice. Basically like plantain mash, right? That's what it is, plantain mash. Here we have mashed potatoes. Mmm, very light. They put onion in this mashed potato. And then here we have mashed potatoes with cauliflower. Very light as well. It's a good mix. They didn't put a curry, but they put something on it. It's like a little, like, it's like a creamy chutney. I don't know, I don't know exactly what that was. Oh, this is too good. And in the middle, we have two big pieces of pork. Look at that. So this is like a pork fritter. We have like straight up pork fat. So first thing we're gonna try is this nice piece of fat. Oh my God, look at that fat. Look how good that looks. Mmm. Delicious gelatin. Delicious. <laughs> Pork fritter. Yeah. Oh wow. A super dense, delicious pork meatball. Like pork ball. Yeah. Not meatball. Pork ball. <laughs> I think we tried everything. I think the only thing missing is the chicken. It's right the chicken, here. Chicken, yeah. So it's chicken curry and it also has a potato right here. Is there bones? Oh, it's because they're bones. bones this is very. The whole piece, guys. The curry's ridiculous. Dude, this is like an orgasm in a curry. <laughs> Straight up. Wow. The only problem with the chicken is that it's a lot of bones, so it's hard. But we're sharing, so I didn't want to go too nasty on it. I'm gonna get some of the, the curry with the potato. That. Mmm. The fire is curry of all time. Get some of this. Oh my god. Next up, we're trying one of these. Yeah, do try that. I really want to see how spicy it can get. I think that's not a spicy one. Oh, <laughs> oh you got it. <laughs> it's too hot. Oh, it's too hot. You want sugar? You know what? No, you know what I need? I need some more rice. Get it down, right? Don't try those peppers. Too hot. <laughs> no, this whole, this whole thing is amazing. amazing. Yeah. I'm in love with everything here. My friend's actually not sharing with me. He's getting his own tally. <laughs> mm. Oh, you didn't get tally. You got that. Yeah, I, I got the, the simple one. <laughs> You've seen the jado. I mean, this is jado naturally. You have seen it. And this is uh, pork. Is this uh, striped fried? I think so. Mm -hmm. What they've done. And yeah, amazing. And they actually serve all this stuff also on leaves. You can see right up there. So here we have fermented soybean sauce. Look at this, so beautiful, the sauce. So you go here and you get some of this, some of the rice, amazing rice, right? Mmm, has a rich, earthy taste to it. I had it earlier at the market, but this time I had it like, like a big portion of it. Mmm, it's nice. It's basically soy and bean. The fermentation, I've actually had something like that in Japan. Mm, I like it. Like, you know what? I like it a lot. Keep eating it. But the star is the chicken curry, like the chicken curry alone. <sighs> Guys, I love this banana flower. This is so amazing. I think you would love banana flower if you tried it. Mm. And this, the fish, right? The fish right there. 
Get some of that. The fish chutney is so potent. My father would love this. This is the owner. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I blew her a kiss. I blew the, the owner a kiss. She's like in love with me. It's really funny. Yeah, she's in love with you, actually. She thinks you're an angel to her. She, she called me a pirate angel. <laughs> Like like Thor. <laughs> yeah, like Thor. Yeah, you can see that. Like Thor. This is all done by hand? Yeah, all done by hand. Both side. Wow. Beautiful. And this is a shawl? Yeah, this is a shawl. Both side. Are you sure it's a shawl? This is actually for winter wear, no? Yeah, these are made for traditional handloom. Okay, what you do is, uh, actually there's another way of covering it. You just cover it this way. In the winter time, when you walk out, mostly women would use it in this generation, because we men have uh, the sweat jacket. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah that's it's very what, nice. And this is all handmade. Yeah, all handmade. So this one's handmade, and how much does it cost? It costs around eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred? Can we get a deal? Can you give me a deal or no? Go to come to you, bro. Seven, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty? No, that's too much. Six hundred, come. Plus seven hundred. Six hundred, come. Six hundred. So what if I buy two? What if I buy two? How much or two? So look guys, what I did is I actually bought four of them. I bought one for my my mother, my wife, my mother-in-law, and my sister. Buying too many things here. Yeah. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. I think it's a great souvenir for my family. I mean, it's you know hand-stitched and it's wool, so great for winter days. If they go to the movies, they can wear it. You know, yeah. people love wearing the stuff in the movies, and it's. Dude, it's beautiful. Like it's beautiful. I would buy more, but I don't. I don't want to give more. <laughs> it's too many things. How do I take this home, man? Yeah. So before we go into Shilam Peak, I'm gonna stop and get a coffee. I need a coffee. Is this like local coffee? Yeah, the local coffee. Local coffee? It's locally brew out here. It's called... <laughs> hey, sorry. About that. No, it's cool. It's that I have the camera in his face. Yeah. He's not looking. <laughs> so it's uh, actually it's called Smoky Falls. Smoky Falls. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to continue my day without coffee. Let me see, what do they have? They have a cappuccino. Oh, let me. Can I have a cold coffee? Sweet. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, so that's that's the iced coffee here. So what I did is I asked for a double espresso with some ice. Yeah. That's how I like it. I like it like super strong, but a little cold. This coffee is fire, and this is local coffee, right? Yeah, local coffee. Fire. Mm. Oh, it's really nice. Mm. Yeah, I do it with no sugar, with some ice, no sugar, perfect. That was like a quadruple espresso. Fantastic. How much do we owe this guy? How much? How much? Two ten. Yeah. Two ten. So we're talking about like four bucks. So what is that? Those miniature kasi knife. You you saw all the the cutting of the oh wow meat and all that. So this is like for your wall, basically. Yeah, for your wall. So a scarf. Yeah, like a scarf. But it's traditional? Yeah, traditional. These are traditional. Is it hand? Okay. Oh, one mega. That's it? Yeah. Alright, let me jump on this guy. Yeah. Alright, Shilong Peak? Yeah, do Shilong Peak. Let's do it. It's incredible India. Yeah. Incredible India. But there's a huge traffic. There's a huge traffic jam. Yeah. Crazy traffic jam. I don't know how we're gonna get in here. You should gonna get into it? Yeah, I'll, I'll just... I'll you just, just weave, weave through it? Yeah, weave through it. Let's see, let's see you do it. Right. <laughs> oh, tight, tight. Yeah, it's very tight. Tight. Too many pedestrians. You did it, you did it. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> So now you know, best thing to do is get on a scooter. Yeah. Is there is there scooter taxis here? Yeah, or no? Uh, uh, no, no, there are no scooter taxis, but you can rent a scooter. You can rent a scooter, yeah, yeah. but renting a scooter is risky. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. Okay. I, yeah. I'm too scared to do that. All right. I'm a good driver on motorcycle. I have a motorcycle license. Yeah. But I wouldn't risk driving in anything India. in India, dude. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. everything's like Hong Kong, 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 Kong. The biggest part is everything comes without an unexpected. Yeah. The drive up to Shilong Peak takes about 15 minutes by scooter. That's the best way to get up there because as you can see, there's a lot of traffic. So if you come by car, it'll take probably double that, like 30 minutes. Yeah. And I highly recommend bringing a sweater because it does get really cold up here. As you can see, the sun is sort of gone right now. There's a lot of clouds, so it's gonna get really chilly. 
The one thing I regret is not buying a scarf. <laughs> What's up, dude? Woo! Wow, the mountains right there. We have a little bit of a situation. So Shillong Peak, like the platform overlooking Shillong, is inside a military base. On Wednesdays, they're closed to anybody. So no one can come in on Wednesdays. It's Wednesday today. And we are asking, like, if we come back tomorrow or any other day, is it okay? And they're saying, actually, you know what? He's a foreigner. He can't come in. And the reason for this is because of the situation with Pakistan, which I think is a little ridiculous. I mean, you know, it sort of sucks that I can't go see it from that area. But we're still going to go to an area right next door where we can see Shillong. So it's still considered Shillong Peak. The only difference is that area has a platform. So it's, you know, it's more commercial more for tourists and this area is just like literally barren and just like you know a rock overlooking Shillong which I think is cool it's fine I hope you guys accept it let's keep going <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> Woo! so from here we're walking we're gonna walk up a, a hill right yeah. that way no, this side. oh that way okay, okay so this is actually a Catholic graveyard I've been to so many graveyards and this one reminds me of a graveyard that I went to in Guatemala, a Mayan graveyard. The only reason is because of the colors. Lots of green, yeah. some yellow, some more green, yeah. purple. Cool, man. Cool. Let's keep going. This really feels like somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Just the green, lush, the landscape, Especially the hills. You come in the, now it's about to be spring. So when you come in the spring, you'll see a lot of green. You're gonna see the difference when you enter Assam. The green difference, you'll have three colors of green. When you reach that particular place called Bhai, so that has a different green. And then you can reach uh, from that, uh, the dam side, the dam, all the way up, you'll see a different green. And then I was just talking to you about the West Khasi Hills. It has another unique green. So all the three places have a different, different green colors. Shillong, right there. Awesome. Well, it's really unfortunate. I mean, you don't get a great view. It's a little gloomy. There's a forest and then the city behind it. I mean, you still see it over there. You see the peaks, you see the city, how it stretches along. And you see lots of mountains over there. I mean, it's beautiful. It's something you have to see. I mean, if you come to Shillong, you gotta go up to see it from a peak. If you can't go to Shillong Peak because foreigners aren't allowed or it's Wednesday, definitely the second best thing is just to go around the mountain and find a spot where you can see Shillong. Yeah. Let's go back down to the police bazaar. Yes. Yeah. Where's my feet? Okay, we're gonna stop and get another cup of coffee. It's my friend's cafe actually. The view from this cafe is epic. I think this is a better view than the other view we got because yeah. From here, you really see Shillong. I mean, I, luckily, I brought a super zoom lens, 100 millimeter, so I could see like up close, you know, over the hills, through some of these buildings, and really see what Shillong looks like. Like, this is a different world. Yeah. Different world, man. Different India. Different India. Different India. Northeast India. I think this is the most different though, because yeah. Guwahati is not that different. Yeah, it's not different. But this is like... Once you come to the hill, st uh, hill stations, all the hill stations, you're going to be amazed by it. Whether it's Meghla or Mizoram or uh, Nagaland, Arunachal, it's going to amaze you. So where are we going next? <laughs> so now we're going back to Police Bazaar. To you get know, a beer? We're just going, yeah, we're going to hang out for a beer. Let's get a beer. Alright. We just made it back here to the police bazaar and now we're gonna go get a beer and we're gonna get an amazing view over the bazaar. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. We're going to Center Point. Actually, there's a restaurant up there so we can hang out there and see the Shillong view. Wow. Nice lounge. Yep. Very nice lounge. I like yeah. it. But we came here for the view. Yes, we came Oh, here. wow. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Amazing. This is the police bazaar. The street is filled with vendors. They're selling shoes, you know, peanuts, clothing, lots of food. And the food is actually starting at like 6.30. That's when it's, and the food actually starts around 6, 6.30. That's like night nice street food. We're gonna be doing that later, so don't worry. You'll check it out in the next video. But let's get a beer. To end this tour, I'm having some Indian whiskey. I never drink whiskey, but they didn't have any beer I liked. So Indian whiskey, why not? Oh, very smooth. Very smooth. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so what we did today is we went and had an amazing
amazing cassie tally. I mean, so many delicious flavors. The biggest difference here is the pork, the pork aspect, and then that chutney, that fish chutney. Fish chutney, yeah. And uh, we call the it rice. Tuntap. 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 Yeah. Tuntap. And, the, and the rice? And the rice is called jado. Jado, yeah. yeah. Jado is freaking amazing. It's, it's like a, I'd say it's like almost like a risotto. Yeah, it's like a risotto or a paella mixed with pork. Right. Freaking amazing. And then after that, we went up to Shilong Peak. We didn't actually see the main spot, but they're saying now with foreigners, it's not so easy to see it. So yeah. you need like access. I don't know. Some people told us some strange story about it. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you've ever been to Meghalaya, Shilong, or if you want to come. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow my boy right here, Paul. Yeah. Travel with Paul. Yeah, travel with Paul. And we'll see you on the next travel food adventure here in Shilong, yeah. Meghalaya. You. Cheers, dude. Oh, it's super smooth. Smooth, yeah? By the way, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. <laughs>
Even I take you to a renowned haircut upstairs, there's another one. It won't cost you much. It'll cost you about uh, less than yeah, six dollars, seven dollars. That's it. Uh, but that is like you're tipping it's good. Yeah. No, the thing is the owner will get a little bit. Oh yeah, dude, I am falling asleep. Wow, this feels so good. Abhi, oh face, Kariga. Face. I'm sleeping in the back of my neck. Yeah. I love that feeling with the razor. Smooth. So the facial massage costs 500. It's the most expensive thing because the haircut only costs 50. Yep. So it's 10 times the cost for the facial. But I think it's worth it because my face has a lot of tension right now. You know, I've been traveling. I'm tired every day. My face like really hurts up here. Oh. That's really an intense price, no? 500 for 50? Yep. Whoa. Whoa, you look as wide as anything, like a snowman. <laughs> I, I, I fell asleep there. <laughs> oh, hot out. Oh. Guys, opening all my pores right now. <laughs> you look refreshing, David. Dude, it's like, it's like, it's like I got eight hours of sleep right now. <laughs> So if, no, I'm serious, like I woke up. Yeah, oh, sorry, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> no, it feels great. Wow. I mean, I'm still missing the real massage, right? Yeah, he's gonna give you some cream. For the face? Yeah, for the face. More? Yep, he hasn't done yet. Oh, he's not done yet? No, he's not done yet. Machine like you got, no? It's kind of like a bleaching. Okay. Cream. So this is the skin jo electro complete. Huh? Ah. The skin jo is cut dry, right? It's just shining. Again. Shining. You're gonna shine, David. Like a star, star of YouTube channel. <laughs> Feels like I'm in a luxury sauna right now. <laughs> oh my god, feels great. Mm -hmm. I look like Michael Myers. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Dude, this guy just took all the tension out of my head, out of the forehead. I feel so good right now. I almost fell asleep right there putting this on. Now I have to wait 10 minutes before he takes it off and then he's gonna give me a neck massage. I need the neck massage really bad. That's like where I need the most. But this feels so good. This is so different. I never had this offered to me before in India, but it's awesome. So he's gonna vapor my face? Yeah, he's gonna vapor my face. Okay, that's different. Yeah, I know, I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna be really hot. It's nice, it's, it's a little hot. Feels good though. Cool, right? Yeah. This feels like I'm in a sauna. Wow, it's so hot. Now it's like getting too hot. This guy's funny, the, guy, the barber next to us is watching my videos. Yeah. Get the best haircut in. Wow. 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 Don't open your mouth, okay, David? Mm -hmm. It's good, it's good. <laughs> I look like I'm, I'm like melting away. <laughs> <laughs> like a frost man. Yes. Wow. Good. This is such an unreal facial massage. This guy is like, he just like beat my face into smithereens. <laughs> Feels so good. Huh? Oh, dude, go deeper in my ear, please. <laughs> He's really like cleaning my eyes, my ears, yeah, my nose. Yeah, you look like deep in there, dude. White as snow, my friend. I know. Hey, you look like white as snow. I look like Migo from Smallfoot. <laughs> <laughs> my face looks like brand new, bro. Except the mosquito bites. <laughs> nice alcohol. Clean everything out. Yep.
Yeah, it really opened my pores. It's such a different experience getting a haircut in India. Well, 50 uh, rupees for the, for the haircut, which is like less than a dollar. Yeah. 500 for the, the facial massage, which is like $8. <laughs> This is so good. Yeah. Oh. Oh Dude, it's hardcore. <laughs> Young guy, but strong guy, huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's like breaking my back, but I need it. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> so good. Me está violando. La espalda. La espalda. Uy. Dude, this is so amazing. He's like twisting my arm, breaking it. Uy. Uy. Harder. Ooh. Oh my god, <coughs> he just broke my arm, twisted it, oh it feels so good, oh, oh, oh man, it's cracking my fingers, one by one. <sighs> the best thing in the world is come here, don't even get a haircut, just get a massage. Oh my god, he's like twisting my arm into pieces. Oh, oh my god. What's he doing to me? <laughs> Dude. He's literally breaking my arm. Oh. Oh. Where's his shoulder, dude? I'm joking. I'm joking, he like broke my back. <laughs> That's it, I'm ready to go out. Feeling good. Okay. Hmm. So, so, you gonna style my hair? Yeah, you just style your hair. Cool, man. Thank you. Uh -huh. Awesome. Clean? Yep, yeah, it's all clean. Wow. It's awesome. Amazing. Dude, the you ultimate Indian new. haircut. Like the ultimate. <laughs> you look like brand wow. new, David. This guy's a man. How much do I owe him? 500 plus 100 <laughs> plus 50? 650? Wow guys, that was an insane haircut. I mean the haircut alone was cool, but the facial massage and the body massage was insane. The ultimate Indian haircut, 2.0, right here at King City Gents Saloon, here in Police Bazaar, Shillong, Meghalaya, India. When you come out here, you have to come here and do this. That was epic. It cost me 50 for the haircut, 500 for the facial massage, but the facial massage was like really epic. Sorry, I'm slurring, I'm so tired. And the back was extra 100, so 650. I gave him an extra 150 as a tip. So total cost was 11 US dollars. Definitely worth it. I spent double that, and I don't get all that when I get a haircut. I love this place. I love India. Love you guys. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Travel with Paul. And I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in India. Peace. Peace. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing great. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in gorgeous Shillong, Meghalaya, India, Northeast India. I'm here with my boy Paul from Travel With Paul. And tonight we're here in the Police Bazaar and we're gonna do an Indian night street food tour. Yeah. It's, it's basically Indian food, but there's also a mix of stuff from here. There's Chinese food you say? Yeah, Chinese food is there also. What else? Uh, then we have the biryani. Biryani? We have a, we have a grill. We have a grilled meat out here, the, the pork especially. Also the they pork have pork. Meat. Yeah. So that's something I've never done before. I've never had like pork skewers. <laughs> yeah. Pork intestines? Uh, no, not exactly, but pork fats. Pork fats? Yeah, pork fats. I've eaten so much pork today, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But I'm super excited. This place is bustling. You can come here during the day, but at night is when it really becomes alive, and it's food. Street food is not something like huge here, so this is the time to find it at night, right? Yeah, at night. Perfect, let's go eat. Let's go eat. So actually, you get right now in the busy street of uh, Poli uh, Police Bazaar, and you can see the vendors, the street vendors are keeping up their 
grill stands and they're ready to grill the chicken, the pork. I'm gonna start with a chicken drumstick. It's 120 for the smallest one. What she does is she pulls it from the side, which it's already cooked, and she puts it in the middle and she heats it up. Yeah, she right? heats it up, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. This guy can't eat chicken, he's allergic. <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Thank you. The first thing we're trying is this chicken drumstick. It looks ridiculous. Lots of different things. Oh, it's so freaking hot. There's some onions, there's some chutney on the side. Look at this. So here we go. Mm. Barbecue chicken. Oh, so juicy. Amazing flavor. Mm. Oh, that was like a fatty piece of chicken. Amazing. Dip it in here. So freaking fresh. Damn, this is some good chicken. It has this like burnt crispy flavor to it, like a barbecue. Oh, that was great. Spices. Mmm. Whoa. Lots of spices. So good. For 120, it was a huge piece of chicken. It is like one of the best barbecue chickens I've ever had in my life. Spices I've never tasted before. It's totally different, right? Wow. Uh, I mean, now we can try the pork, actually. They're gonna grill it, all right? So we're gonna see how the process of grilling they're gonna do right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it goes on a skewer. Yeah, it's on a skewer. Lemon. He just put the pork on the grill. As you can see, it's a huge flame. It's gonna be super charred. It's gonna be a little crispy, a little burnt. The juices of the fat are exploding right now. That's why it's coming up so fast, because the juices are exploding. Wow. Dude, this pork is gonna be unreal. So what piece of the pork is this? I think it's the stomach. The stomach? Yeah, the stomach. Oh, it's the best part. This is what you get in Shillong, actually. A barbecue pork. Mm, it's really charred. It's very nice, juicy. The fat is just bursting in your mouth. Oh man, I'm excited. It's barbecue pork. Oh, two pieces? Yep. I think we should get a lot of chutney. We're missing that. Mm. Stuff is chutney. Oh wow. A lot of salt, right? Yeah, a lot of salt. A lot of salt. Mm. Super fatty. Super fatty, yeah, I told you. It's like all it is is fat. <laughs> yeah. But the salt yeah. is like it's an abundance of salt. Yeah. A lot of salt. He has uh, just given a chutney and lemon. Actually, lemon juice. Here we go. Mm. Mm, this is good now. Different world. It was tomato chutney with chili. Oh yeah. my god, why did they give me so much? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. It is. Uh, I'm done actually, I'm done. You're done? We have like three more, four more things to go. Yeah. We're gonna have some more, that's why I, w I want to leave some space in it. Oh, look at that. Yep. Two good pieces. Go ahead. The most delicious pork barbecue ever. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was so good. Hey, Thank you. Thank so you. good. So good. So you want to try the biryani? Yeah, biryani. Yeah, I'm go. down for biryani. I love biryani. And biryani is uh, one of my favorite things ever. You can have the, uh, the Chinese food. Chinese food? Yeah, Chinese food. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Whoa, yeah, what is you that? You can do actually this part. Which one is this one? Yeah, man, yeah, the bum. Oh, this is the bum. The amount of barbecue pork and chicken there is so freaking like, it's making my mouth water how much more I want. It was freaking amazing. Because <laughs> yeah. the, the pork just blew out of the water though, because the pork was so amazing. Yeah. Our next stop is Food on Wheels. It's like a food truck. They have a bunch of like different, I guess, like mix of Chinese and Indian, but they have momos. I love momos. This is like dumplings, but in India, right? And here, what they did is they put some hot sauce. Oh, I love hot sauce. Let's do it. And this is chicken momo, right? Yep. Ooh, it's hot. It's like steaming. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. The texture on this momo is amazing. Mm. Really moist. The chicken feels like it's been pulled. Mm. Hot sauce is not too hot. It's perfect. Wow. Wow, man. Wow. I'm in love with this thing. And this plate of six momos costs 40 rupees. So the next thing is that we eat chow. The Shillong special way of uh, cooking chow. Uh, actually, it's uh, more Chinese food. Uh, and you, I think most people know it's noodle, but here we know it's chow or shao. The Khasi pronounces it as shao. So that's how we pronounce it. 
Perfect. All right. Let's try it. I'm hungry. Ciao. One ciao. Actually, the nightlife, it goes on till 2 o'clock in the morning. You can have a lot of street food. There are many street stalls that are going to come at around 8 o'clock. So we are still here at just 7 o'clock. So there are more to come. Here we have chow. This is Megalaya noodles. It looks Chinese, right? So I'm going to just try regular. Okay. Ooh, this has chicken in it. Mm. Oh, I love it. Super thin noodles. Mm. Very dry. I like how they mixed in the onions too. But I'm going to get some hot sauce. Which one? The green one. No. I think you better open it, the lid. Yeah. I don't want to go too crazy here, but I need hot sauce in my life. Oh, so hot sauce. Oh, I got a big chunk of hot sauce. Oh, look at that. Mm. It's a like green chili with mint. Oh, it's really spicy. I told you. Oh, so good. Let me have it without it, man. I need to like calm down that heat. It's hard for me to eat food that's not spicy, or at least some spice. It's not like boiling. I mean, there's a point where it hits you really hard, but then it goes away really fast. I'm in love with these. Like, they're really unique, really different. It's almost like glass noodles in Thailand. I'm done with this. If you're gonna leave food and you're gonna throw it away, don't do that. There's a lot of people hungry here. Get a bag and give it to them. 50 rupees for the chow. So we finished up here. We've eaten in a few different things. We ate momos, chow, pork, chicken. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate from Police Bazaar. We're gonna go on the way back to my place, which is right here. And there's another food truck and there is Nasi Goreng. Nasi Goreng. Nasi Goreng. Yes. Okay, and what's Nasi Goreng? Uh, it's actually an Indonesian food, but it's not exactly similar to it. But somehow, you can you cannot you cannot judge it because it's in a different world in a different country. So they just call it by the name nasi goreng. Here. Here. Yep. All right. You just had a haircut, so you're gonna feel the shivering cold of Shillong. I really, really, really love Shillong. All right, I. First I hope day. You enjoy the first day itself. Dude, the first day has been so epic, epic. <laughs> what a day. Yeah. Right here? Thing. Yeah. Wow. Griddle <laughs> Club. Yeah. The Griddle Club. Whoa, dude, you're going to park in the middle of the street? No problem. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> the Griddle Club. What's up, guys? Hi. Hello. Nasi Goreng? Yes, Nasi Goreng. Perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> so, we're going to have Nasi Goreng. Uh, we even have chicken biryani, actually. Here we have it, nasi goreng. This is Indonesian fried rice. The difference here between Indonesia and the one in Megalaya is that here they have it with chicken, over there they have it with seafood. It looks amazing, it comes with these chips, it comes with a big egg on top. Oh wow, this is so good. So let's do this, let's pop the egg. Yeah, let's pop the egg. Pop the egg. Yep. Go deep in there, make a hole, let it all go down into the rice. Oh yeah, and then you put it out like that. Look at that with the yolk. So amazing. Oh. Uh, there was just an accident behind me. Wild. Hopefully somebody's okay. Is the person okay? Oh. Did he leave? What happened? He ran away. He ran away. Oh, dude. Oh, that was so wild, man. <laughs> I mean, he just disappeared. That's bad. That's bad. Congratulations. This is so good. It has a Southeast Asian feel to it. Mmm. Ah, that guy tried to escape. Did he? Did he? Yeah, he's gone. Chasing him right now. Basically, nasi goreng is a mix of uh, seafood, a lot of seafood. But here we don't really get seafood, so chicken is one thing. We have this fries. Actually, it's similar to nasi goreng only. Mm, then we have these. Yeah, those are these are chips. I think these are prawn chips. Yeah, these are prawn mm -hmm. chips. Mm, love it's it. Amazing, right? Prawn <laughs> chips. Yeah. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Actually, that's like. Yeah. Pick one of these up, right? Yes. And go in for the kill right here. 
Dude, this is one of my favorite fried rices ever. All right. Hey man, the shrimp paste, you overdid it with that one. Like, so good. It's <laughs> good oh. actually. You still maintain the, the egg, man, the egg. Dude, I love the combination between the egg and the rice. All right, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, my friend. Slow down. All right. Wow, what an epic night. We yeah. had so many delicious things. We had, <laughs> what, we had chicken? Uh, first we had chicken grill. Pork? Then pork grill. Uh, the next thing we had momos, the ch uh, chicken momos. The chow? The chow, yes. And uh, last and the final was the nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Yeah. I, mean, I gotta say, my favorite thing, ooh, it's hard to beat the pork. <laughs> it's hard to beat that damn pork. All right. So freaking good. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my boy's channel. Yep. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Meghalaya, India. Good. Northeast India, baby. Let's go. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been here in gorgeous Shillong, Meghalaya, India, in Northeast India. I'm here with my good friend Paul, and today we're headed to eat breakfast at the Police Bazaar. We're gonna have a mix between Indian food and Kasi food. If you didn't know, there's three tribes here in Meghalaya, and one of them is the Kasi people. Yeah. You know. And uh, so what are we gonna have for breakfast? So we are gonna have the Indian food, that is the puri and sabji, and also some traditional Kasi food. Perfect, and right now we're at a viewpoint overlooking the entire city of Shillong, the capital, right? Yeah. And as you can see, lots of hills, there's a lot of plateaus here, and over the hills on a super clear day, you can see Bhutan and the Himalayas. That's incredible, yeah. for incredible India. Incredible Let's go. Incredible India. And here we go, on a scooter. This is the best way to get around Shillong because you cut through all the traffic. As you guys know, this place is really hilly, and now because People are buying cars, it's getting worse and worse and worse. The population keeps going up because people are moving in from other parts of Meghalaya. Lumpuring. Yeah. Lumpuring. And this uh I wish I had a helmet, but it's all good dude, because you're gonna go slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run slow. Oh man, I, I love this. And it's a little chilly right now. I mean it's like actually it's really chilly, but it's warming up literally every second. We got out here like at 5.40 in the morning and it's like 6.30 right now. Oh wow. The sun, the smell. And here we are, we have arrived to Police Bazaar. This is where we've been visiting. We visited this place like three times already. Yep. I got my haircut here, and in front of us we have street food vendors. I'm so excited. Yeah. That food looks so good. I need food. So we gotta have the puri first. Puri, puri. The first thing is this puri sabji. This puri looks a little different. Not your regular puri. As you can see, it's already been like deflated, right? And then this is the sabji, and this is actually squash sabji. So the best thing to do is break it with one hand. Well, I really can't do that. Get like this, get some sabji. Let's see the squash. I've never had this squash with puri. Oh wow, nice squash. A little spicy, like a little bit. Mmm. The puri is very crispy. Crispy and the dough inside is very soft. I really love puris, and if you guys don't know what puris are, they're basically like they're Indian flatbreads, but they're puffed, so that they like heat them up and they like expand, right? There's many different forms of puri. There's pani puri, there's puri like this, like bigger puris. Mm. Look at that. The squash is so good, and the squash has some onions too. So it's like a squash salad. You just roll up like a little taco right there. Cool. Mm. Nice and oily as well. Squash all day. All day. Right there. Puri, puri, puri. Puri is so freaking good. It's just something about puri. I think the oil that they use is phenomenal. Little puri sabji. Whatever they put in the sabji is so good, so delicious. And it's very light. Oh my god. It's good right now. Mm. I'm just gonna put all of it here. Eat that like that. One big, fruity taco. Like a little burrito. 
What a great way to start the morning. Next? Next. That puri sabji was so freaking good. I've never had squash sabji before. Wow, and only 20 rupees. And this police bazaar breakfast stalls start at six in the morning and go on till nine in the morning. So if you're gonna come here, definitely come early. Right now it's like 7.30 in the morning. So not that many people yet. But as you can see, lots of people selling chapatis, you know, booties. We also have a lot of kasi food, so a lot of rice, a lot of pork. We're gonna try some of that right now? Yeah. Let's do it. Next up, we have some traditional kasi food. As you can see, here we have a mix of pork and meat. So we have pork salad, which is like pork with onions and potato. We have like a mix of pork organs, intestines, liver, a bunch of stuff here. We have pork fat, we have chicken, and then we have meatballs. Set to like, Get your patty right. So just break off some, right? Then go in here. So get some of this. This is all organs. Organs. Yep. Amazing. Look at that. Ooh, nice and fatty. Love the sauce here. There we go. Mmm. Nice and juicy. More like gelatin, almost like brains. So next thing I'm gonna go for the pork salad is freaking amazing. I love it. I've had it. Twice a day, every day I've been here, because it's just so good. Mm. It almost tastes like a Russian salad, but with pork. Wow. Look at this piece of fat, pork fat. Just cut it up. Oh, look at that. So amazing. I love fat. I love fat. It's like straight jello. That's what it is, like gelatin. Mm, it actually felt a lot like more like bacon actually this one like a little little tougher it has a little piece of toughness to it next up we have the meatball so the meatball it's a little tough right so they're going for it mm, so dense mm, so rich in flavor oh my god that was freaking amazing like amazing you might have to have more of that. Wow, one of the best meatballs ever. Mmm, I love the spices in it. Love it. You know, I'm not eating all chapati. It's gonna go in for the kill. I'm loving this. All the organs. Mm. Here we have the chicken. So chicken, the only problem with chicken for me is it always has bones, you see? So it's hard to like actually get into. So like that. Oh, nice piece of chicken there. Chicken curry. No chewy? Bones. That's the hard part. The bones are like too much with the chicken. I like the pork better. There's no bones. The salad and the organs. Mm, top notch. This is incredible that we're eating this for breakfast. Have a seat, have a seat. No problem. Sorry guys. We took all the seats here for our little table. Oh man, the pork fat. It's really what I'm loving about Shilong Megalaya is that we get a lot of pork. So it's something that I'm, sorry, <clears throat> couldn't get it down. It's something I've never experienced before in India. You know, most places in India, you won't find beef or pork, but here you got it all. You have it all, all. More bone. Oh, we have bamboo shoot pickle. Yeah. And then we have jado, which is the rice mixed with pork. And we also got a piece of beef right here. Dry beef. Dry beef. Wow. I mean, I was going to town on this chicken. I'm really enjoying it. Mm. Nice piece of chicken thigh right there. Wow. Dude, that chicken curry is freaking great. And what's the price? Got no kong. So it's 130 rupees for everything I'm eating right now. It's a little more on the expensive side compared to like just the puris, but obviously it's meat, so it's you know obviously gonna be pricier. All right, let's go in with the jado. So it's basically rice that has a lot of pork fat in it. Oh. Here we have bamboo shoot pickle. The bamboo shoots, pickle, and a piece of chili right there. Mm. I love this bamboo. Mm. In the pickle version, a little potent. The chili is a little hot. You need the jado to calm it down. So here we have the smoked beef. So dry beef curry. Wow, very like curry. Very like rich and like, it's a little brownish, right? Mmm, super tender beef. It really felt like beef jerky, but lots of nice spices. It's not spicy, but the spices here are a little different, Megalaya. 
Oh man, and, and like capping it all off with a jado. I love it. Oh, you got mustard leaf. So yeah. you got mustard leaf on his chapati. Yep. Is it good? Yeah, we're good. So what I'm doing is I'm just rolling it out. Oh, 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 the juice is just blue. So good? Yeah. I'm really in love with cassie food. I mean, the aspect of the pork is just so different from anything else I've ever had. So freaking good. And yeah, I mean, 130 rupees was not bad for all that, that I had. I had a huge meal, but I, can, I need to keep continuing. I need to eat more. This bus is like having a problem here. But yeah, I mean, now it's eight in the morning and it's starting to like really wake up here. Lots of people here eating, as you can see, and there's only like eight different vendors. So what's next? What are we gonna try next? We're gonna try the pita. What is it? Pita. Pita, pita. right? Uh, pita. Uh, pita. So they're making a, a pita, a very famous uh, dish in uh, Assam. Uh, what they do is they add sugar with coconut and uh, rice, pounded, pounded rice, and they put it on this uh, hot pot. We we'll just steam it out, and they, it will cook slowly. By pita, pounded rice with coconut and sugar. I had this in Assam, but I haven't had this version yet. It's a little different, as you can see. Right there we have the coconut. Coconut, sugar, looks freaking amazing. What it reminds me of is like an idli, but it's very different than an idli. Oh, it's breaking up. Hold on, how do I eat this? Mmm. Coconut, man. Mmm. Very airy. A little thick. It almost feels like a dessert. You have the sugar and the coconut, which makes it feel like very like sweet, right? Yeah. Oh. I love the plate. It's paper. <clears throat> you need water with this, right? But it's not gonna get stuck in your throat. But I'm all about coconut. Coconut all day. And this pita only costs 10 rupees. Super deal. Really filling too. Finally, we're gonna have chai, Indian chai, the way they make it in Mumbai. This is awesome. Let's do this. So here we have a chai. This chai has ginger, it has milk. This is the chai that I've had all over India, but for some reason in Assam and Meghalaya, it's not so easy to find on the streets. But here we found it. Oh, it's not too hot. Thank God it's not too hot. I thought it was gonna be piping hot because he just took it off, but I guess I'll let it sit for a bit. Mm, it's very nice, very creamy, very frothy. Oh, no, it's hot. <laughs> the Indian French toast. You know, I've had this before in Calcutta. I had it on Decker Lane. Same thing. It looks amazing though because they put this nice piece of toast, right? Get the egg. He cut it a little bit. Oh, there's some spice in there. A little chili. A little spicy. Mmm. The bread hasn't been toasted. It's still like very white bread. It had the entire egg just like stream through it and get hard. So it's like it really is like bread with egg throughout. So good. What you can see is the spices here. There's some onion. Very fluffy bread. Lots of oil. It is damn good. It really is delicious. Spicy. The police bazaar for breakfast is incredible. When we got here, there's only like 10 vendors. Now it's like 25. There's a lot of people eating. There's booties, there's chapatis, there's different cassie foods, a lot of pork, there's some beef. They also have, what was the other thing they had? The, uh, from Assam, boro food. The boro food, yeah, the boro food. Yeah, that was so good, man. The, yeah. the, 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 the pita. pita. The pita. Yeah, pita. pita. It's not pita, it's pita. Yeah. So it's different, but it, it's very sweet. I think for me, my favorite thing, man, I got some of that pork stuff. I uh, know, you love it, right, uh, David? Stuff. But I mean, the French toast, the, the like omelet, the omelet, French toast omelet, Indian style, was really good as well. I think the pita was incredible. Everything was so delicious and so diverse. And you know, if you go to other cities in India, like Mumbai, Delhi, you're not gonna find all this stuff. You'll find just the regular, like Northern or the Maharashtrian, you know? So you don't get the stuff from Northeast. Northeast is so different. 
so much variety. Each state has a different food. Yeah. Obviously, Nagaland, Mizoram, yes. and Megalia are more pork and beef heavy. Beef, yes, that's true. And uh, yeah, so the best time to come here is six in the morning to nine a.m. I suggest getting here around six thirty-seven. It's because a lot less people. But as you know, as the day progresses, you see more vendors come out, more people, and it gets hotter. Because I'm about to get off my sweater because it was freezing this morning, and now it's hot. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Also, subscribe to him, and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Megalaya. Peace. Peace out. Super strong coffee. Good morning guys, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Shilaw, Meghalaya, India, Northeast India. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you my guest house apartment tour. This place is awesome. This is called the Suram Villa Homestay. They have five rooms and they have a cottage. It's a three-story building. And right now what we're in is the hut on the third level on the rooftop basically. And here you have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, you can get some coffee, some juice. I personally haven't been eating here just because I've been outside filming every single day. And it's right in front of St. Anthony's College and only like a 10 minute drive to Police Bazaar. And Police Bazaar is where everything's happening. That's like the marketplace. You have street food vendors, you have people selling shoes, clothing, I mean you name it, you can get a haircut there. That's what I did the other day. And yeah, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you on a tour of the property. Are you guys ready? Let's go explore the property. And that's the hut on the rooftop. Awesome place. You can see, love it. It's chilly right now, it's like 70 degrees, sun's out. Just need a scarf because some points in the shade it gets really cold. Beautiful view over St. Anthony's College, you can see right there. Now let's go downstairs and let me show you the property. So, woo, nice. So we have three rooms up there, right? Terrace three, four, and five. Plants here, very nice. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this. Look at that, the elephant. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. You have a turtle one as well. Nice, dude. And then here is my level. Okay. So this is level two, this is where I'm staying. We have another room here, it is room two or one. And I'm in this room. And right here, as you can see, this is like a cool terrace. So I can come out here, relax, work from here. We have Wi-Fi. It's been really chill here. And the people, the owner is super nice. And yeah, I mean, let me show you this. Got a lock? Perfect, open it. There we go. And this is it. So it's basically a studio guest house, right? Like a studio apartment. Right when you walk in, we have towels, we have an extra blanket, yeah. and just a lot of places to put clothing. You can hang up your clothing if you're gonna be here multiple nights. Over here we have another clothing rack, as you can see. You have a table you can open up. Here, this is like my backpack, got my luggage here. And this is my room, as you can see. It's a little messy, sorry, they haven't cleaned it because it's really early, I just like made my bed. This is an extra, extra blanket because it was really cold last night. Oh, it was really chilly. This is another bed, obviously, so two twin beds. Over here we have a TV, right? Nice TV. And over here I have my little station to charge all my stuff. So I have like four chargers here, five chargers. And then here we have the bathroom. Nice, super clean bathroom. You think this is marble, right? So here in India it's a little different. You have the heater, right? When you want to take a shower, what you have to do is you have to come here, press this button, turn on the heater. 20 minutes later, it's ready to take a shower. So I have like two buckets here. So I usually fill up, right? And just like bathe myself like this. Or you can bathe yourself with a shower head, right? Toilet, faucet, right? More plugs, love it. And we also have some pictures here of Megalaya. So we actually went to this place yesterday, it's Sara. And then when you're leaving, lock up, right? Always lock up. Never leave this open. I mean, just always be safe and sorry. Well, got locked up in here. What's happening? Just put it on, close. Lock. All right, so let's continue with the property. As you can see, downstairs we have a carport, and the view, here we don't really have a great view. Upstairs a better view. You can see St. Anthony's College right there. They have a lot of plant life here, I like it. They made it very cozy. This is like just one massive house that they've changed into a guest house. Next up, let me show you the Assam type cottage. A very old cottage, it's right downstairs, right there. As you can see, it's like a house. 
So it has a kitchen, has multiple rooms. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Woo. Starting to heat up, huh? Yep. Starting to really get hot right now. But I like this, I like my little wool scarf. I don't want to take it off. You're the owner, I'm sorry, what's your name? Uh, jo Josephine. Josephine's the owner. Yeah, yeah. my mom is there, my sister's there. Okay, okay, so it's a family thing. Yep. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So follow me, guys. Wow. So we have a little living room here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. See. Oh, it's very chill. Wow, super high ceilings here. Mm -hmm. What is this, 20 feet? Yep. Easily. 12 feet. Over here we have a bedroom. And wow, this is very nice. Very spacious, very cozy, you know? You can see 12 foot ceilings. Here we have some extra blankets. You know, it is Shilong. Shilong, it does get cold. Extra blankets there. We have a heater if you need it. Some nights you might, some nights. Okay, bathroom. So it's like a bathroom before the bathroom. This here you can like get ready, you know, do your makeup. Oh, nice, I like it a lot. So we have the shower. So I love the tiling here, the towel work. And the, the toilet, faucet, very nice. We also have another heater always. So this one has a button here. Right there, it turns on. Let's leave it off for now. Let's see the rest of the house. Now we're entering the kitchen. This is like a real house. This is huge. Look at this. Awesome. Huge dining table. We got cups, we have uh, the utensils there, you can make your eggs here, we got pans. Oh, I love everything here. Very nice, very clean. And we have the fridge over here, obviously. It's empty, but when you come here, they'll leave some stuff in there for you. <laughs> and here's uh, the master bedroom. Yep. Master bedroom. This is amazing, amazing. Really nice. Same as the other room, very high ceilings. Huge king size bed. Over here we have another bed, so if you have a small child, they can sleep here. You know, it's a, it's just you know more comfortable like that. Then here, I love I love the blue by the way. The blue. Oh, so the lining is Mizo. Yeah, Mizo okay. style. Because the owners are from Mizo, so yeah. Double bathroom. So here we have a place where you can hang stuff. So you can hang like a you know a wet towel, and then here you can you know get your towel. Nice fresh towels here. Big bathroom. Look at this. Awesome. Heater. I mean, this is perfect. And there you have it, my Soram Villa homestay tour. This place is incredible. Next time you visit India, definitely consider coming up to Northeast India and especially visiting Meghalaya. Meghalaya is like a plateau mountainous region. It's really cold up here. It's called the Scotland of the East. It's completely different from the rest of India. It's like they have pork. They have beef, it's cold, the people look more like Southeast Asian over Indian. Very different culture here, three different tribes up here. And yeah, visiting Shillong, I'd say visit for like four to seven nights. If you really wanna see the whole state, you need at least seven nights because everything takes time. You're up in the mountains, so everything's like zigzagging roads. You know, yesterday we went to Cherapunji, so that's a great place to visit. You can go over there, see the Double Decker uh, Living Route Bridge. You can see waterfalls, you can have amazing food in Sora in the market. And then in Shillong, I definitely recommend going to Police Bazaar, having breakfast there, having dinner there. Those are two things you have to do. Get a haircut if you want, like I did. Also go up to Cloud9 and get incredible views. And also visit the main market. It's like a feast on the eyes. It's like, it really is sensory overload. You get to see them like butchering, you know, beef, pig, uh, what else, if you guys saw fish, chicken. I mean, they have everything there. So if you really want to experience what this place is about, definitely go there. And yeah, this state is amazing. So next time you find yourself visiting India, come up to Shillong, stay here, and you will love it. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and also subscribe to my boy's channel, Paul. Yeah, my channel is Travels with Paul. And we'll see you on the next food and travel adventure in Meghalaya. Peace. Hey, good afternoon everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Shillong, Meghalaya, India, the capital of the state of Meghalaya in Northeast India. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mix of attractions and food. We're going first to see a canyon. 
We're gonna see a queen's house of a kingdom that's in the area. And then we're gonna have some local food at my friend Paul's friend's house. He's gonna prepare like a big mix of Cassie food for us. I'm very excited. Are you guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> Dickie's taking me around today. What's up Dickie, you good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Perfect, so we're gonna see the canyon. Uh, today we're going to Light Loom. Light Loom. Which is like, uh, I'll say the greener version of the Grand Canyon in the US. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, you can see the entire view, it's like fully surrounded by, it's like valleys and you can, the river running through the valleys. How far is it? Uh, it's around 45 minutes drive from here. This, this area is called Lymukra. I mean, in recent times what happened, the cafe culture is coming up very fast out here. So more like a hangout hub for the young, the, for the youths out here. So it's a neighborhood in Shillong? Yeah, it's a neighborhood in Shillong, yeah. The reason why this neighborhood has turned into like a chill out spot, hangout spot with lots of cafes, is because there's seven different colleges in the area. As you can see, lots of young people walking around, people going to school, you know, people getting a coffee, getting some food, and yeah, lots of traffic here though. <laughs> Right now we are on the way to a light loom, so we'll be passing through Smith area. This this entire area is Smith, and I think Nongkrem dance is held out here. Nongkrem. Yeah, Nongkrem dance is one of the traditional dan dances. So of a particular of this particular, and they serve good rice beers, and it's a it's a festive uh, it's a festive dance. It's mainly for harvest, harvesting, I guess. And uh, yeah, so the area looks again very hilly, very dry, lots of brush. It, this reminds me more of like, I don't know, it looks like sort of like Scotland, right? Ireland, like hilly. This looks like Northern Scotland actually, not Ireland. Okay. Northern Scotland. And the same thing like Lesotho, the Sky Kingdom of Lesotho. Very similar. Lots of hills, lots of winding roads. I mean, the winding roads don't end. Lots of pine trees as well. The road is a natural Indian massage. <laughs> Super chilly. Ooh. Be careful with all the rocks here. So many rocks. So this is the viewpoint. Wow, that is the canyon. It does look like a small version of the Grand Canyon. And it's so green. I love how it has like this haze over it. If you want to go to Rasam Village, you can do it. It takes about two hours to get down and up. At least. Right? And it's like the stairway is just rocks. It's like boulders. It's actually no stairs. Dude, this is crazy. Wow. Woo! <laughs> the echo. All the villages. Yeah, this. There's like three or four villages as you can see right here. One, two, three, four. That's it, that's it. <laughs> you can see most of the pier. Goodbye. <laughs> Look at this viewpoint. It's a huge rock and it extends out over the canyon. It reminds me of like Table Mountain in Cape Town. Come, let's get closer. Hey guys, careful. Woo! If you want to get some awesome images for Instagram, this is the spot. But please be careful. The edge is actually very small. You like this place? Yeah, it's amazing. Every time I come out here, I still don't get, I don't get tired of this place. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's full of life. No, it's really magical. I mean, it really is just a wonder. And this guy right here is selling what tea? Nuts. Tea, can I have some tea? This is the red tea. This is the drink up here in Meghalaya, red tea. Oh, I love it. It's very minty. Very minty. It's still piping hot though. Like, it's a little too hot. Just let it sit here for a bit. Two people have died out here at this spot where we were taking photos. No way. Two? Yeah, two of them, yeah. When was this? Probably. That was, I think, two years back or so. So it's really dangerous to, like, you know, just go out there. And, and that was for Instagram photos, they're crazy. <laughs> Especially the people who are addicted to selfies. <laughs> okay, that's the waterfall out there. It belongs to the street. That waterfall is tough back. Wow. We can barely see it right now because it's dry season. It's like a tiny stream right now. But they're saying when it's the wet season, it's like coming down hard. Lots of water coming down. But this whole place will be like all lush green, right? During the wet season. Beautiful, man. And that's it. We saw the canyon. I highly recommend coming out here when you're in Shillong. Now it's bigger way to the house. Let's go, guys. This queen is basically, she's a queen of this particular area called Nongkrem. So we have this uh, areas like, uh, our state is divided into small, small areas. 
So here's the green one. And this house is uh, made up of only wood and cement. No, no iron things are used like nails or anything. Uh, she come, yeah, she comes every morning at around six o'clock, and she blesses the people out here. And they said her blessing is uh, really good for them for the heaven. It's like a huge hut, like a giant hut, because the roof is made out of what, like bamboo? Bamboo, yeah. Wow, bamboo, and then you have these huge. Look at these. Look at these. Look at this. These trees are like huge. Yeah, the pillars are giant. These pillars are, and what they put something on it, like, wow, oh, nice pillars holding the house together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks all very expensive. So once a year, they have a dance festival right in front of the house, and as you can see, there's like a stadium, like a mini stadium here. They have a lot of seating, okay? Really nice. The queen sits here? Right here? So they all sit here and just watch the dances? Yeah, they have front row seats. Women <laughs> front row. <laughs> Now, let's go have a local Cassie lunch at my friend's house. The drive from the canyon took around 25 minutes. As you can see, it's very congested right now. Lots of cars on the road, scooters, motorcycles. I mean, so much traffic. The city's growing dramatically right now. People are moving in from other parts of the state. What I like about Shilong is that it's a hill station, but not that many people. Like, it's not so many people. It's not so crowded like other cities in, in India. Uh, lots of green here, so the air is like amazing. Very little pollution. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back with Paul. Hi. We're gonna eat. <laughs> yep. Cassie food. Yeah. We got pork. Cassie food. Paul. Got intestines. Yeah. Liver. Yep. Everything. I think lots of it. <laughs> everything from the pig. Yeah, everything from the pig. And whose house is this? Uh, this is my friend's house. His name is um, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? You know why, yeah? Good. Pleasure, David, pleasure. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, David. I want to see the food, I'm starving. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, nice. I feel good, I feel good. I got a little tired on the way up, so I passed out. Yeah. I slept for like 20 minutes. All right. But then I got my second wind. All right. I feel good. You know, you guys know, like, I haven't slept like more than six hours any night the Correct. entire trip. I do agree with him because I've seen him, he's just like vlogging, vlogging, vlogging everywhere he goes. Thank you, okay. thank you. Yeah, please have a seat. Sit down here. Hey, buddy. You box better than mine? Let's mind. see, let's see. Okay, okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm my mom. David, pleasure, nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Ziki, oh, my friend. This is chutney, we call chutney. We make dry fish. This bean, we make with sesame, some oil, and cheese. This pot, we put some spicy and sesame. It's the same here also, we put. But that's beef. Yeah. Oh, it's minced meat? Yeah, and this is. Plain salad. Some days we used to eat raw also, and we used to eat when we. This is bamboo shun. Pickle. Fun is not eating today. No food for you. All right, so here we go. Traditional Kasi feast. So many good things. So we have red rice. We have here some, uh, I guess, like a veg salad, right? A little veg salad. Then here we have, I think this is the pork, this is the beef, we have the dal, the bean salad, the fish curry, here we have the wild plant, right, the, with a flower, that's a pickle, right, pickle? And then here's the bamboo shoot pickle, wow. And then here we have minced meat, so beef, sorry guys, but the beef is so good here. <laughs> so how do we start? So first up, we're gonna go with the dal. Look how amazing this dal looks, wow. Oh, it's like, like thick in there, no? I'm gonna do the India way. I'm gonna make a hole in the middle, right? Yeah. Or no? How you do it for the tali? <laughs> for the tali, right? You make a yeah. hole in the middle, and then you just pour it in. Is this how you guys do it too, or no? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just mix everything. <laughs> okay. And then next up, we're gonna go over here and grab some of the pork, right? Oh my God! Look at this pork, guys. This is the pork, right? Yep. <gasps> All right. So pork, put it here. To the side. I'm gonna slowly grab everything. Here we have the bean salad. Wow. So it's like a bean curry in a way, right? Right there. Next up, we have the delicious beef. Oh my god, look at that. This beef looks so rich in color. The curry just looks amazing. And then next to it, I'm just gonna grab my hands right here. We have the minced meat. 
So like a like a beef patty, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just try this first. Oh my god. Mm. Dude, I love it. I love it. So good. Not too fried. Just right. Do I put anything on it? No, no, no. You can have that. No, the fish, maybe. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> you can try. I'm gonna get a little bit of the fish. No. It won't copy me. It won't. It won't. This be... is a dry fish. Food. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you can do with this. This is really yeah. This with this? The red, the red one. You can try it with this. So the red one. So I'm gonna get some of this one and put it on top of the mince. The mince meat right here. Wow. So this is like a a wild flower basically. Mm. That's different. No one's laughing here. <laughs> I'm trying to make this thing funny. It's like, no, no. Everyone finds it like you're eating it. Cool. I know, I know. All right, come on, guys. All right, so I'm gonna jump into here, have some of the red rice with some of this doll. But guys, eat. Join me, join me. Like, let's have it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Super light doll. Mm. Super nice. Do you have anything hot to put on it? Like a hot, like a pepper, a chili? Yes, yes. Yeah? No, no, I... Only pepper, okay, okay. No, but I want chili. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, next up, I'm gonna try this. I have to try this now. The bean salad. Man, this is delicious. This is the best bean salad ever. So it's like a sesame curry. Oh my God. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. I think there's a chili in there. Is that chili? Yes, that is. Is one chili? I want the chili. Let's go for the chili. You can have all the chili. <laughs> mm. Wow, that sesame curry, a little sweet. Your mother's amazing. That that was incredible. Incredible. Wow, I'm gonna take that home with me. The, re <laughs> the recipe, the recipe, the recipe. Mmm. <laughs> Next up, we have the pork. All right, so here we go. Whoa, look at that, the pork. Just breaking it up. Nice and fatty, lots of fat there. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Put a towel on this. Wow, the juices. Super tender. Mm. I love the curry. What's in the curry? Oh, same thing, sesame curry? Wow. It's like delicious. It's a tiny, like a little bit sweet, and then with the fat, and like, oh my god, the, the tenderness of the pork is so good. Lots of fat here, lots of fat. Mm. It's like I'm chewing through chicharron, pork rinds. I'm, I'm gonna have to move here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so we got the beef. Yep. Nice, thick piece of beef. Mmm. It's like a nice steak with curry. Mmm. Straight up Angus beef. These cows are, are raised here in the area, right? Yeah? Yeah. Very chewy, like jerky. Like we had this morning, right? Like, is this dry, dry beef, yeah. right? So dry beef, okay. I'm not used to camera. <laughs> no, you can't I be shy, dude. <laughs> like, few, few days with David, I'll be like, so no. comfortable with camera, like. No. I, I think, um, I think I'm taking half of this with me to go. No, no. <laughs> this is the dry fish chutney. So you remember, it's always orange. It's yeah. Texture, now it's the green. This it's is the green. Of the green chili. Because the green chili? Oh my yeah. god. So I put it on the side here. So I'm going to grab a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of that. That's, that's not a little bit. I mean, usually the, uh, the dry fish chutney is really spicy, like pungent. And this one they added green chili. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's, it's spicy. It's like really spicy. Yeah, yeah. Very spicy, very salty. It has that dry fish taste. You know, here in India, Sri Lanka, they do a lot of dry fish. You dry it out in the sun and you eat it. And it's very salty though. Mm. It's like I'm tasting the sea. Do you guys eat like this every day or no? Yeah, it's, it's similar to this. Because he actually have more of the garo food also. Yeah, so for, me it's a so for you it's, it's half and half in a way. Half and half, yeah. Okay, but what what's like you can't really find garo food on the street, right? It's no, hard. No, it's, it's kind of hard. One more of these. 
take a no, bamboo, not. bamboo. You should try it, please. please. You should try the bamboo. Next up, I'm gonna try the bamboo shoot pickle. I'll put it here. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it's a little pungent. <laughs> yeah. Not so bad. I love bamboo bushu. I love how like the texture of it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm I'm eating way more than everybody here. <laughs> Everybody's just staring at me. We're enjoying that you're having the good feast. <laughs> looking at you is like looking at us also like oh. Looking at this food, my mouth just waters. <laughs> no, it's like you're drooling with it. We don't get the the organic beef and pork like you guys get. We get it like not as good. Not farm raised, kill that day, buy it that day, eat it that day. You know, we don't do that. Farm is like we kill it. Yeah, yeah, no. That's that's why that's why it's so good. We tend to buy the meat. Yeah, farms yeah. Only those. Anything with seafood. Seafood, yeah. Yeah, you have to. We have to. And the total bill came out to zero. No, so the casting people like chilies. You gonna run wild now? No. What you do, you, you, want, you want to call on the heat, you take the rice. It's not so hot. My friend Paul here one time grabbed one of those and it was a ghost pepper. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. felt bad for a day. Yeah, I told you. And that day he was running towards his home, like, you know, he was, he was going to go early. Like. Oh my god. Ghost peppers are in Assam, right? No, Nagaland. Nagaland, mostly Nagaland. Nagaland. No? Actually, we call it Nagaland chili. Bro. Because, uh, Thank you so much again. Well, guys. I hope you enjoyed this amazing feast. It was so freaking delicious. I gotta thank my friend Jordan, his mother, for the amazing feast. Thank you. No, it's just so nice. This was so incredible. My favorite thing had to have been the pork and the beans. It's so good. We also had an amazing time earlier visiting the canyon. That was beautiful. Something you definitely have to do when you come to Shillong. And guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my boy Paul's channel. Travel with Paul. Travel with Paul. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Megalaya. I'm not stopping, guys. I'm not stopping. Yeah, we can stop it. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Shillong, Meghalaya, India, Northeast India. And tonight what we're doing is something different. We're gonna go eat some Naga food, food from Nagaland. Nagaland is another state up here, part of the Seven Sisters. It's next to Upper Assam and Myanmar. And what can you tell me about Naga food? So basically Naga food is a mix of bamboo shoot, a lot of bamboo shoot. And also the very popular is the, uh, the ghost pepper or the king chili. This is called the Naga chili out here. So right now, where we are right now, it's called Limokra. There are a lot of food joints out here. You can try the Chinese, the Indian, the Kasi, the Miso. So you can find a lot of number of food joints out here. The thing about Northeast India is that it's super diverse. Each yeah. state is completely different in terms of food, yep. culture. I mean, people look at this guy. He looks like he's from China. No, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, dude. No, but for real, people out here look more Southeast yeah, Asian. More Southeast you know, Asian. the food is uh, because they're not Hindi. You know, they're not Hindus. They they're more Catholics here. Yeah, they eat cow and pork. Yeah, yeah. Christian, like in uh, some Protestants and some Catholics, a lot of that, and some Baptists. Exactly. Are you ready? Yeah. Naga food. Yep. Let's go. Let's and we're, go we're gonna go eat here we're at. Going. Naga Mandarin? Yeah, it's called Naga Mandarin. Naga Mandarin, so yeah. Naga China? Yeah, yeah, we're in China now. <laughs> okay, that's awesome, let's do it. Whew. We have to go in this yeah. building three stories up. Hello. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Every night I used to watch your... Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. You've been to Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Want to do a selfie? Huh? Selfie? Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Are you a vlogger? Yes, I'm a vlogger. What's up, man? David. Really? Pleasure. Where are you from? Oh. America, America. My name America. is Zayn. Pleasure. Zayn. He's from, oh. uh, he's Zen. Zayn. Zayn. Yeah, Zayn. 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 But you guys are from Nagaland. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, from yeah. Nagaland. We're from Nagaland. Good yeah. food? Good food? Pardon? Good food? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're doing like a <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You can follow him in. Where have you had 
This is Naga Mandarin. As you can see, it's a cozy restaurant. Over here, they have a lot of photos of tribes from Nagaland, right? And then over here, they have a, like basically a small gift shop with different things they brought from there. They have some like vases. And here we have the menu, which is made out of bamboo. Look at that. So we're gonna have a Naga meal. I think it's this one right here. Pork and dry bamboo soup. Rice, boiled veg, soup, two chutneys. Whoa, smoked beef chutney, pork and black sesame seed, smoked fish curry, what? Is that what we're gonna get? The meat yeah. and I got meal. So that's what we're gonna get. That's it? That's it. Perfect. I'm super excited. Ready. Let's do it. Okay. I love it, actually, I really love Naga food. I like the bamboo shoot. It's amazing when they cook it with uh, beef and pork, you know? I love that. So here we have our feast. Wow, thank you so much. Naga food. Pork and fresh, dry bamboo shoot, rice, boiled veg, soup, two chutneys, and smoked fish curry. All right, how do we do this, dude? Just go all in? Yep. You wanna tell me what to do? All right, you go with the pork. Uh... All right, let's go into that. So here we have the pork. Wow, look at that, guys. Mm, so this is the curry, right? Yeah, it's a bamboo shoot curry. Bamboo shoot curry, so everything has bamboo in Nagaland, basically. Yeah. So here we go, pork here. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the bamboo shoot. Mmm. It was really potent. It's hot, right? Yeah. Mm, hot. The pork is really tender. A little fatty as well, that one. Here we go again. Yeah, mm. it's all comes to a little of So good. It has a smoky taste to it. Mmm. The bamboo shoot changes the flavor completely. I've never had something like that. So different. It's different, right? Different. So I'm gonna get some of this though. Red rice with some of the curry. Yep. Mm. Oh, so nice. Bamboo shoot, curry. Guys, it's so rich. So rich in bamboo. Just put some of the rice there. Mix with the bamboo shoot curry. Oh, it's good. What's this one? That's the chutney. Just chutney? Yeah. It looks like a spicy chutney. Look at yeah. all look at all the seeds from the pepper I think here. This is with the king pepper. With the king pepper, so hot? Yep. Let's see how Be hot careful. it is. Let's see. Not spicy. Don't make it spicy. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Ooh. You got it. Ooh. It, it hit is too hard. Thing. It hit too hard. Alright, so I think I need some of this like mashed potatoes. Yeah. This is mashed potatoes, right? Yeah, mashed mashed potato, yeah. Mmm. Ooh. A little hot too, man. My God, yeah. what's happening here? Nice mashed potatoes. It has a bunch of different things. So we got some onions. We have some other herbs in here. Then the mashed potato and that chutney together will be good. Mmm. Nice and spicy. So you add the soup with the rice? Yeah. Just like this? Yep. On top? Yeah. Pour it. Pour it up. Pour it. The soup and the rice. Mmm. It has a real Asian taste to it. It's like a miso soup almost, right? Yeah. Basically miso soup with pork. You know why? Is that pork? You remember the soya, soya bean? Yeah. Fermented soya bean? They mix that with it. Oh, so they mix fermented yeah. soya bean, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like the, I like the chutney. Right. It's hot. Mm. What's this one? That, I think that's also another chutney. Another chutney? Yeah. As you can see, this is the fish chutney. It's full of spices, lots of like pepper seeds in here. Let's go at this. Let's go hard to go home. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. It's actually like, like lots of fish in there. Yeah. Lots of fish. It's not too salty like the other ones I've tried, and it's not too hot either. It's a little hot. Obviously, there's some chilies in there. I'm gonna mix it with the, the with the rice. Oh, it's hot. I told you, it, it gets, it hits you later. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need some of the mashed potatoes to cool me down, man. Oh my god. Mmm. Yeah, you can do that. It's hot. That's amazing. That tastes like China right there. <laughs> That's like China. Yeah. See you. See you guys. See you. See you. Thank you. Thanks. No problem. No problem. This is the smoked fish curry. Look at this big piece of fish. I mean, the curry looks so good. Mmm. Looks like a nice soup right there. Wow. So I'm gonna grab this guy. Straight up. Let's do it. Mmm. 
really good, but look at this. <laughs> bones. Yeah, be very careful with the bones. Nice piece of fish here. Mmm. Mmm. Lots of bones, guys. The charm is like having to dig through to get your meat, you know? Yeah. Mmm. Mm, nice. It's a nice smoky flavor. Thank you so much. Mmm. Gotta be careful though. I hate bones. Personally, I can't stand them, you know? Mm. You like more of the sea fish, you know? Mm hmm. It's a small fish. It's not like blowing me away, but it's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's a nice, smoky taste. Yeah. Watch out, Dave. Yeah. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm gonna try the curry now. You know? Oh, wow. To me, that's not a curry. To me, that's a soup. Nice, thick soup. Mmm. Not too many spices. More like pepper in here, you know? Yeah. Oh, but I love the chutney. And then next up, we have this one. Right here, we have the smoked beef chutney. Look at that. Look at the color. Red, lots of pepper seeds in here. It's gonna be really hot. It's gonna try it straight like that. Okay. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot in the box right now. I'm like overheating right now. Get a little more. Put it with some rice, right? Always put it with rice. Comes down the heat. And you go throw the towel on it. With the rice, it's nice. Very good with the rice. And then one of these cucumbers. It's caught on the heat, right? Yep. Ooh, I'm loving it. Like, I love spicy food. Sometimes it gets too crazy, but this is not so bad. Right now it's gonna be hard because there's a lot of chilies in that. I'm not trying to eat. Whoa. It's hitting you right now. Whoa. Yeah, your turn. Here we go. So I'm having the beef with the rice. I just love the pork with bamboo shoot. So now the beef chutney. Mmm. Ah, oh, that hits me. I love the ghost pepper. Another chili, it's awesome. The ghost pepper is killing me. It's gonna kill you. It's, it's, it's killing me, it's killing me. I need, I need another. That's what it is. Going to town on that pork, huh? Yep. I love the pork, man. It's too good. Mmm. Because I can't breathe, I'm gonna have some more mashed potatoes. I had no idea Naya food is this hot. I told you. It's like, my nose just doesn't stop. <laughs> Damn, guys. I can't even believe that. It's really spicy. I'm cool. I'm actually cool with it. You haven't even eaten any of it. Uh, you want me to try without it? All of it. All right. Straight. And this one too. Have it all. Have it all. Let's see. Okay. I can. Are you not driven yet? Your sinuses? Yeah. <laughs> I think they haven't given us a really hot pepper because if, if they have given, I would just sweat out. <laughs> tell, tell the story about the ghost pepper you ate. Yeah, I, rem I would love to tell you the story is that I ate half of it, the ghost pepper, and I literally sweat. You know, I felt like I'm going to die. Literally, seriously. Now, actually, beware of it. <laughs> That's how I feel right now, dude. <laughs> because I'm dying right now, I'm gonna have some mouth fresheners. Wow, it's really cooling down the heat. Mm. Every restaurant in India has this after a meal. And then, the total bill is $5.90. So it was $3.50, but we added two things to it, 590. Not bad, seven US dollars, eight US dollars, pretty good deal. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. The food was a little too spicy for me, but thank you. It was so good. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, take care. In my life, have I had food that spicy? Well, I have, actually. I had food that's spicy in Chennai. Okay. But just one dish that hurt me that bad. All right. Oh my God. Way too <laughs> spicy, but now I have food pretty good. I mean, I like it. I like the pork, I like yeah. the beef. Probably the winner for me was the pork. Yeah. 
the beef was just way too spicy. Yeah, the mashed beef. potatoes were good. All right. What else? What else do we have there? Uh, the, the, fish. Chutney. The, the fish chutney. The fish chutney, chutney too. Yeah. The fish chutney and the fish curry, right? And the soup. And the soup. Soup was really good. Yeah. You had that miso side. The miso so. And then uh, yeah, so it's called Naga Mandarin. So obviously Naga Land, China. In a way. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's see. basically a, like a short version of it, right? Yeah. And guys, I hope you love this video. Naga food is very unique. It's really spicy, but definitely a must try when you come over here to Shillong. If you go to Nagaland, you'll have good Naga food there too, but it's gonna be way too spicy because they use ghost peppers. This guy like cooled it down a little bit for us. But yeah, if you love the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Subscribe to his channel, and we'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Meghalaya, India. Peace. Peace out.